It's Cars Dash Touring, sanctioned by the ASA, America's premier stock car tuner series, will be featured in two 75-lap events in their season finale Saturday at Hickory Motor Speedway. Gates open at 5 with racing action getting underway at 7.30 and enjoy the Super Cup Stock Car Series racing Saturday as well. Tickets are $10 for adults, 5 for children with kids 6 and under getting in for free. See the Is Cars 2011 champion crowned at the end of the evening at Hickory Motor Speedway Saturday night. Welcome back in to WHKY Sports Talk on 1290 WHKY and online at WHKY.com. Joining us in studio, doing PR with ISCARS, Brad Carpenter. Brad, first and foremost, thank you for joining us. Thank you. It's a pleasure being here. Uh, second of all, I want to thank you and uh, Randy Claypool, who we'll talk a little bit more uh, with his involvement in ISCARS in a little bit uh, later. But I want to thank uh, you guys for giving us a pair of pit passes to give away for uh, Hickory Motor Speedway on Saturday night. Thank you very much. No problem. It's our pleasure. We always like to have the fans coming out and enjoy our series. Uh, if you want a pair of pit passes, you want the opportunity to be getting those pair of pit passes, all you have to do is call up Will, 828-327-WHKY, 828-327-9459. We'll be putting your name in the hat. We'll take your name and your phone number, and later on in tonight's show, we'll be drawing the name out for a pair of pit passes to Hickory Motor Speedway and uh, the racing action there Saturday night that features the S cars. Looking forward to that on Saturday. Brian, let's talk a little bit first uh, about you. You were telling me before we went on the air this evening that you've got a little background in racing. You've done some racing. Yes, um, I actually quarter midget raced when I was younger, ages uh, five through eight. Cool. And now I'm at Belmont Abbey down here in uh, North Carolina. Right. And I'm in the motorsports program there. And I started a collegiate DECA chapter, which uh, actually got me the internship with this cars. And now I'm a uh, full-time series uh, PR guy. Awesome. I, you know, one thing leads to another. Definitely. Never know what what doors open. Um, is it something, doing the PR aspect of things, is this, would you have preferred staying in the racing? Or did you want to do more behind the scenes after the fact? Uh, well, one, once we got out, because I was uh, running around when I was younger right. and whatnot, but... Um, as soon as I got out, I decided marketing is pretty fun, cool. and that's just the path I took. Awesome. Very cool. Uh, I'm glad that you're with ISCARS. Now, let's talk for those or people are probably thinking ISCARS. What, what are they talking about? Explain a little bit about what ISCARS is and uh, um, what, uh, what I think people will probably recognize it from where it kind of spawned from, a little bit of that little backstory there. Right. Um, ISCAR stands for the International Sport Compact Auto Racing Series, um, and we are sanctioned by ASA, which mm -hmm. is the American Speed Association. Yep. And our cars are six or four-cylinder race cars. Mm -hmm. It all depends on which kind of engine you want to race. Uh, carburetors or fuel injection is what we're running, as well as turbo. We do have uh, two Honda Accords that run turbo in their cars. Wow. So that's always fun to see, and uh, speeds get up to about 400 horsepower. Nice, nice. <laughs> Which, you know, when you've got the, the track that is Hickory Motor Speedway, and I would assume most of the tracks are the short track variety. Is Hickory actually one of the longer ones that you run? I do believe so. Other than that, I think the longest we've been to might have been Dillon. Okay, so. interesting. Um, now, is this all pavement, or do you also run some dirt tracks as well? Uh, strictly pavement, pavement ovals. Very cool. Uh, the uh, ISCAR series, some people may remember it as it once was called the old Goodies Dash series, kind of uh, spawned from that, if you will. Yes, sir. Um, our CEO, Randy Claypool, picked right. up the series in 05 after uh, NASCAR dropped it. And um, Michael Waltrip is a famous guy who got his start go, yeah. in the Goodies Dash series. So um, we've just taken it over and rebranded it as the ISCAR series. Awesome. And it's been a fantastic experience for, uh, I know, both fans and drivers alike. Because let's be honest, the fans are great. It certainly helps. But if you don't have those car counts, then, you know, it, it doesn't matter. And you, you were telling me that uh, the drivers have thoroughly enjoyed uh, not only being a part of ISCARs, but it's a really big night for you Saturday. It's the season ender. You were telling me uh, earlier that you've got guys that you weren't quite expecting was going to be a part of it. They're now showing up. Definitely, yeah. We actually have a 
two drivers who are second generation drivers. Their dads are building the cars for these young guys, and we'll see them this weekend. So pretty excited. Awesome. Most of the events throughout the course of this racing season for you guys have uh, have been double features. Uh, 75 laps, if I'm not mistaken, coming up Saturday night. Is that correct? A pair this, of them? Yeah, this Saturday we'll have 70 lap, uh, 75 lap races, but like last weekend at, uh, well, when we were at Newport, we actually had an 80 lap race. So uh-huh. we had a good, good finish there with a uh, green, white checkered. So we did awesome. run those. Uh, and again, that's uh, coming up Saturday night, Hickory Motor Speedway. Uh, we'll uh, have some more information. In fact, actually, what am I saying? We'll have more information. We already have information online at our website at whky.com. Click on the Sports Talk. Uh, on the left-hand side of the page, you'll see Sports Talk. Click on that, and uh, you'll see a link to get to Iscars. And actually, it links you directly to the story about Saturday's race coming up at Hickory Motor Speedway. Uh, again, we've got a pair of pit passes for Saturday's night race as well. All you have to do is hope that we pull your name out of the hat. It's as simple as that. Actually, it's not even a hat. We don't... We don't Hal's got a hat for the first talk show. I don't even know where it is. I've been looking all during the last couple breaks. Is that it? No, that's not it either. <laughs> it's not a pink fire hat. I promise you that. The, uh, there, there's a hat, and I don't know where it has disappeared to. So all we're doing is envelopes. And so I'll turn the envelopes down. You'll hear me shuffling them, and we'll just be pulling your name. So, well, you know, it's how you get a pair of pit passes uh, to uh, Saturday's race at Hickory Motor Speedway. Again, all you have to do, give us a call, 828-327-WHKY, 828-327. 3279459 uh is uh the phone number to call if you want to get a pair of pit passes to the race at Hickory Motor Speedway Saturday night. Uh let's talk about uh, as we mentioned this is the season finale for you guys Saturday night. Give us kind of a, a brief recap if you will of the season uh and what we can uh, expect because there is one guy who has just pretty much dominated the events. Yes, uh Denny Bagwell, driver of the number 10 uh turbo truck and Ford Focus has been our uh Guy who's been leading the push this year. He swept uh, almost every weekend except for at Dillon, where we saw Eric Gerchek, who we'll have on later. Right. Um, he won that second race there. And uh, Danny's in the lead by 90 points over second place. And that's really where the battle heats up for uh, this weekend. Uh, second place is tied with Todd Hawks and Eric Gerchek. Mm-hmm. And then right behind them, only 16 points out, is um, our Rookie of the Year contender and leader, Brian Wallace. So wow. it is possible that Brian can go all the way up to second and uh, Goodness. be second in the standings <laughs> and your winner of the Rookie of the Year title. That would definitely be a, a feat, to say the least, and uh, definitely going to make some for exciting uh, racing. Because I guess so many people, and I think, you know, I know they've certainly done this on the on the NASCAR level with this, or the Sprint Cup level with NASCAR, trying to make things interesting with the, the point system and kind of your NASCAR playoff or the chase and all that mess. But I, I, it's it's interesting to see everybody shuffle for what's next because yes, it certainly looks like Danny's got this one. Sorry for the pun in the bag, but but things could happen. But it's really exciting, especially at the last race of the season. This is what I've always been told with the last race of the season. It doesn't even matter if it's a championship. If there is an opportunity to uh, increase where you might end in that final race, a little bit more of the purse, and certainly in this case in the point standings, that season-ending purse is meaning a little something, and they've got all off-season to work on the cars. You just might see a little fender action happen, a little fender bender action, a little push, a little sides. You never know. Definitely. Uh, Yeah, we're expecting a big car count this weekend, so it is possible that Danny could lose some points, and it could get interesting. Uh, You never know, but... Definitely uh, look for those point standings to tighten up after the first race. Absolutely. Looking forward to seeing uh, what happens and seeing if somebody who has that second place lead can extend that out and maybe think that they're maybe a little bit more comfortable. And I'm saying that, and they're all competitors, and they're going to you know, drive the wheels off of it and not listen to anything that anybody tells them anyhow. So it'll be exciting, to say the least, uh, at Hickory Motor Speedway, uh, the final event of the 2011 season for uh, Iscars. Let's talk a little bit about Saturday night and the schedule that we're uh, we're looking for Saturday. Okay, uh, gates are opening at 5, and then we have our qualifying for the Iscar series at 6.30 <laughs> with our first event, uh, which will be the 75-lap race with Iscars at 7.30. And then following that will be the, our Super Cup cars that will come down and are touring with us for this race. Cool. They have a 100-lap race, and then they awesome. have a 25-lap feature event. And then we will have our second Iscar's final race. And then there's a driver autograph session and celebration for the champions. Awesome. Always fun to, to, to say the least, especially when you're there for the championship, whoever it might be. So very cool. Uh, again, uh, we're giving away, too, a pair of pit passes 
uh, in just a few moments, actually. Uh, if you want to qualify to get in on that, give us a call, 828-327-WHKY, 828-327-9459. We'll put your name in the hat and get you set up with a pair of tickets for uh, a pair of a pair of pit passes. Forget the tickets, it's pit passes uh, for Saturday night at Hickory Motor Speedway for the ISCAR Series. Uh, real quick before we head to break, I know there are a couple sponsors you definitely wanted to thank as well. Definitely. Uh, Voodoo Ride has been on all year and Extreme Trophies, who does all of our trophies. Um, awesome. And they were actually our race sponsor at Newport, so very glad for them. And then uh, we also want to thank the GM, Kevin Piercy, at Hickory, as oh, well yeah. as all the staff and the legacy of just going to Hickory Motor yeah. Speedway. I mean, where NASCAR stars are born. I, I was going to say, I'm sure it's kind of cool for those drivers to say, I raced at Hickory. Right. Maybe exactly. that's why you're seeing the increased car count, too. You never know. So it could be one of those things. Uh, and, uh, again, we've got more information uh, about this online at our website, whky.com. Click on the Sports Talk link. That'll take you to the story about that. And also, uh, let me just go ahead and plug this real quick, and I'll make sure we do this a little bit later as well. Uh, you want to learn more about IS cars? You want to see them action? Go to their website or go to YouTube. Seriously, YouTube. Hit Type IS cars in the search engine. You'll find all you ever wanted to see about uh, IS cars and uh, their racing action. It's pretty cool stuff. We'll talk more about that and talk to Eric Gerchek, one of the drivers for IS cars, right after this on WHKY Sports Talk. Welcome back into WHKY Sports Talk on 1290 WHKY and online at WHKY.com. Throughout tonight's show, uh, first and foremost, we're talking IS cars. They're running at Hickory Motor Speedway on Saturday evening. And uh, throughout the show tonight, we've been giving you an opportunity to qualify to win a pair of pit passes for Saturday night's event at Hickory Motor Speedway. Again, the IS car series running there on Saturday night. Uh, we will continue to talk a little bit later uh, or uh, in a little bit with Brad about uh, the event Saturday at Hickory Motor Speedway. But before we do that, I do have our registrants. I have shuffled them nicely, and I am pulling out our winner, and our winner is Aaron Creed. Aaron, we'll be giving you a phone call here in a little bit and letting you know how you can get those pit passes at Hickory Motor Speedway on Saturday night. We want to thank all of you who qualified in this evening uh, to get on and uh, get that pair of pit passes to Hickory Motor Speedway. Again, we thank you very much. Uh, Brad, before we uh, try and get a hold of uh, Eric real quick, uh, I do want to mention uh, we, we, you know, we talked a little bit about it as we were going to break. We are talking about uh, you can see some video of this cars with YouTube. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, you've got a band that's done some like music video, if you if you will, with with some of that stuff. That's kind of cool. Definitely, uh, Orange Avenue is a band based out in uh, Florida, where we are based out of, okay. and um, they let us use their music, and we put our racing footage and behind the scenes video to their music. So we've got a couple music videos up, and look for one after this weekend as well. Awesome. Uh, you can also see again. You don't even have to go to YouTube. You can go to the uh, Iscar's website. Uh, online and see it from their homepage as well. One of them, but there's uh, a plethora of them out there. It's very cool. And uh, YouTube, not the only social media you guys use. You guys are all into that. Yes, uh, we've got Facebook. We actually have two Facebook pages, one for our regular daily updating, which is uh, facebook.com slash iscars. Right. And then our second one is our live update page that um, we update with live updates since we don't have um, we are a Southern tour. Right. We have fans across the country. So for those who can't make it out to the race, you can go to facebook.com slash iscars live. Awesome. And then we also have our Twitter account, which is iscars live as well. So. Sweet. All into the, all into the social media. Yes. That's where it's at, isn't it? <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, but, uh, one thing I want to let you know about, uh, uh, Eric and, and something if uh, we get a chance before we wrap up this evening is that, uh, he ain't around from here. Hey, how, how the heck does a man from Queens... Seriously, uh, and then raised in, in Jersey, end up down in the South racing with his cars because now he lives in Mooresville. I have no idea. Uh, Brad, you were telling me that uh, of, of <laughs> we, we, we mentioned that uh, uh, Danny Bagwell has just dominated this series so far. Uh, but how in the Dickens uh, Eric ended up winning the one race that Danny has not uh, run this season? He's uh, uh, Eric's done very well this season in his own right. You mentioned that he's got a shot to win second place in the uh, in the final standings. Definitely, yeah. Um, Eric, actually, that's where he made his first his cars win was at Dillon. So okay. he, he knows his way around the track, and um, the drivers are, are learning really quickly on Danny. Um, he's losing some traction on his streak, yeah. and 
people are picking up, learning where they can make moves. And we actually, uh, at Newport, Brian Pruitt did pretty well. He was a local guy who had an old goodies stash car, which we allowed for the remainder of this year. Right. So that's why we're also seeing an increase in car count. Ah, oh, very cool. Very cool. Uh, again, uh, Iscar's racing this Saturday night at Hickory Motors Speedway. Uh, the uh, uh, More information, again, found on our website, whky.com. Click on the Sports Talk link, and again, you'll find out more uh, about uh, Iscar's at Hickory Motors Speedway on uh, Saturday evening. Uh, again, the uh, gates will open at what time? At 5. Okay, excellent. So, uh, again, that's all at Hickory Motor Speedway on Saturday night. Uh, and, again, just because, uh, Brad, you and I were talking about the fact that, uh, yes, it looks like that it's pretty much wrapped up for, uh, for uh, Danny to win that uh, point title. However, just because that happens doesn't mean the racing action isn't going to be great, as you and I were talking about. The fact that you know this, there could be there there could be my tail end. There will be some side by side racing. There's going to be a little beating and banging. Again, it's the last race of the season. They'll have all off season to work on their cars, and certainly they love these cars just about more than life itself sometimes. But the fact of the matter is, is this is it, and they're going to have a nice long off season. Uh, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be a wild night to say the least. Definitely, yeah. Um... I mean, guys haven't won um, except for Eric and Gerchek. I mean, <laughs> Eric Gerchek and Bagwell. <laughs> right. So I uh, look for uh, Todd Hawks to come out and uh, Brian Wallace. And Scott Willingham won't be joining us this weekend, but he had a good car at Newport. So, What do you think it would do to somebody like a Wallace, who's a rookie, to come in and win in that final race of the season? And, okay, maybe he doesn't end up in second place, let's say, in the standings. But just to get that win, I mean, you want to talk about a vote of confidence for himself for next season. That'd be huge. Definitely, yeah. Brian Wallace has been a great driver all year. He's learning. Uh, this is his first season with us, us being a rookie. So he's uh, investing the team for himself, all wow. funded by him. And he's actually out of Fort Worth, Texas. So Man. it's a haul for him to come to all these <laughs> races. So we're glad Certainly. to have him on board. And you mentioned that so many of these are really based around right here in the southeast region and, and, and a lot in North Carolina in of itself. Definitely, yeah. We, um, we've we been as high as uh, Old Dominion in Virginia, and then we went out east, well, west, I guess, to Newport, and we've been as south as uh, Watermelon Capital Speedway in Cordell, Georgia. Okay. So... Awesome. I uh, also want to uh, certainly thank, uh, as well in all of this, Randy Claypool. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, took the ISCARS, has run with it, and uh, has done a phenomenal job over the last several years. Definitely, yeah. Randy's been a great mentor for me. I mean, I came in here as an intern. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> now I'm a full-time official, so it's just been great learning from Randy. He knows a lot about the series and how to run a series, so it's great. One of those things that uh, I-, I dare say you probably didn't expect when you decided to become an intern you're like oh this is a cool opportunity and and here you are yeah definitely it's been a uh, a worldwide opening experience for me awesome and uh, at the at the beginning of, the, of uh, tonight you and i were talking about uh with belmont abbey tell us a little bit more about this program i am intrigued uh by this program that belmont abbey set up like i said i i, I knew when i was in college they did not have this and I didn't think it was that long ago I was in college, but it's a real cool program. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Belmont Abbey, back in 06, decided to start a motorsports management program that um, actually Humpy Wheeler is on the board of directors for that, and he actually went to the Abbey. So um, he's helped get the organization started, and it's a full-time business ma- uh, management major, and then you have a concentration in motorsports management, and you have to do three internships with teams in the area or right. racetracks, so it's it's awesome. Which is a great program to have, being right here, right at the doorstep of, of you know, uh, Charlotte Motor Speedway, of course, Mooresville with all the all the uh, tracks and everything. That's, that's phenomenal. So uh, that's a, a very cool event, uh, or a cool uh, setup for you guys at Belmont Abbey. Uh, again, we're talking ISCARS, the Hickory Motor Speedway, hosting the ISCAR series coming up Saturday evening. Uh, again, the uh, schedule of events, one more time, please. Uh, gates are opening at 5 with qualifying at 6.30, and then our first ISCAR's twin 75 lap race will be at 7.30. Awesome. And again, uh, you can find more online at our website, whky.com. Click on the Sports Talk link. We'll have that up throughout the course of the weekend. You can find out more uh, there as well. Sorry we were unable to get Eric on the line with us this evening. We apologize. Hey, it's just one of those things. These things just happen, and uh, we do want to thank you for uh, qualifying tonight. Uh, for those passes. And again, congratulations to Aaron. We'll be calling you a little bit later on 
uh, and making sure you are uh, know how to get those press pass or pit passes for uh, press pass. Might as well be a press pass. It gets you all access, man. Are you kidding? Pit pass? That's awesome for the Iscars event uh, Saturday at Hickory Motor Speedway. Brad, thank you so very much for joining us. We greatly appreciate it. It's been a pleasure. And uh, on behalf of Randy, he actually sent me a text and wants to thank on behalf of his cars, you for promoting us and all of stock car racing. It's been great to have you on board. No problem. We enjoy doing it. Love having you guys come into town. Awesome. Thank you.